Hello guys, welcome back to another video of Carolina IDC and we're back at the range on another hot day, I tell you. It's getting hot and hot out here. But anyways, <laughs> I see the title bill. We got another wholesale from the guys at Crossbreed. And this is, uh, I think, one of the new ones they came out with. And this is for uh, Inside the Ways Appendix Carry holster here and they call it the rogue now these go for 90 dollars. they are having a sale right now false day but if you see this afterwards uh they usually typically run about 99 bucks or something like that so some of the features about this is again it's going to be uh for appendix carriers so if you like that stuff i typically don't like to carry appendix but i wanted to try this holster to see if it kind of switched my mind again but again you can get this in so many different colors um, features um, as far as the clip goes I got the ultra clip and it's gonna be the large one and I tell you these ultra clips are the best thing that came out with so if you don't want to wear a belt or you're wearing jogger pants or shorts without a belt you can utilize this it clips right on and it holds the holster in place uh, I think it's the best clips they ever come out with so if you look for something of that nature especially for women wear jogging pants or yoga pants uh this could be a great uh clip set to use again you can pick different kind the belt clips regular loops whatever you may want you can choose from their website as well but they are very nice you can tuck your shirt in front of it and all you see is the clips now the clips are very strong uh the best way to do it is just take your time and everything use the right size belt but as you can see um what it does is you got this clip right here with the little hook. You clip it over your belt and it goes right in or your pants, your cloth, and that catches down. And what it does, you just press this and it clamps down and puts pressure on it. And that bad boy, it's not going anywhere. It is a little difficult to put on and off uh, as far as the clip taking it off because it's a real tough clip and it's got a lot of tension spring. I don't know how to do it, but it's just tough in that way. But anyways, you got the claw here, which I'm not very fan of claws uh, to me. I really necessarily don't need it, but it's something to help for uh, push this butt right here into your body so it doesn't print while you're wearing it. You can adjust it for different heights and everything. You can, you have the magazine pouch here, which also got the clips right here. And you can detach it if you only want to wear the holster by itself. You can detach this magazine. And again, you can change all kinds of different cans, height, and all kinds of good stuff and everything. And again, you got the sweat guard, which is high, right above where the frame ends uh, and the slide ends. And again, you can, um, you know, switch it up, take this magazine, uh, carry it off, and you can get the ones with the uh, belt clip and then just wear it as a regular uh, type holster here inside the waist. So we're gonna wear it. We're gonna see how well I can draw from it. Uh, I've been carrying this for not roughly a week, but being summertime, I like to wear a lot of t-shirts and it gets hot. I like wearing shorts and I don't want nothing really too bulky and I wanted to try something different. Also again, I wear athletic shorts uh, in the summertime. So that's another thing that can help you carry a firearm without a belt. All right, enough talking. Again, I appreciate Crossbreed. Again, Crossbreed got some great posters. Make sure to check it out. There is a link down below where it, it is affiliated link. So that's what it helps the channel. And it comes always in this little nice kind of pouches thing. You can uh, hinge it down or use it for whatever else. Uh, you can put stuff here. Now this one rip, rip right there, which is fine. <laughs> but you always get extra hardware if you lose any screws or you know you want to change or take off uh there's another extra clip here uh this one came with this type of clips right here but uh i opted to get the uh the ultra clip and again this is the large size they do have the small ones and again i wanted this because of that reason of me wearing uh, a lot of athletic shorts or in, a, in the winter time when you wear sweatpants and you don't have a belt this is the best way to carry a firearm again all right so let's step over here take a few draws shots here make sure it stays in place and then plus do what i do so stay tuned all right guys let's put in this uh holster the rope from uh better uh cross crossbreed holsters again these clips are very tough and again uh, the way you put it on, I wearing a belt that doesn't have a buckle, so that helps a lot. So what you're gonna do is lift up on the clip and make sure you go over the belt on both sides. And it goes over and catches on the bottom of the belt loop here, like so. And that's where it's gonna ride appendix. And all you do is clip those down 
and that's how you wear it and again depending on how you wear shirts and everything you got this rig right here in the summertime and as you can see i do have a little bit of gut i do sprint a little bit once in a while again i try to wear baggy shirts but as you can see you can see it but as long as you wear baggy shirts you know you'll be fine and it gives you an option to draw your weapon cool thing about this is optic ready as well this is for the hellcat pro which i need a holster for it because again in previous videos when i review this the trigger guard it is a little bit wider than your standard hellcats your first first generation that came out uh the trigger guard is a lot smaller than the pro so it's not be compatible if you have a holster for the uh first generations of hellcats uh you know ready optic or whatever the osp or whatever it's called uh that's what you're gonna be or oh, rdp i'm sorry it's the one that with the optic so it's not gonna fit uh as far as retention you can retention i really don't typically like to have a lot of retention when i carry inside the waist i want to be able to draw the weapon without any snacks any uh you know anything and as well you got the magazine right here so all right enough talking uh let's make this gun hot and take a few shots all right here we go again we just go for draw make sure the holster stays in which it will be because again i don't have a lot of retention but again you can uh change that as well Another thing my appendix here is hard to bend over ah, myself, but again, it is what it is. Now, if you travel a lot and you're in a vehicle at all times, in my opinion, appendix here is the best way to do it because uh, make sure you put your seat belt in front of it. Uh, that way, you don't have anything away. Pull your shirt over and uh, like that, and you have you know, you're able to draw your weapon in a sitting position without any problems. And that's the best way, in my opinion, to carry. If you're traveling a lot or be in a vehicle a lot for your job or whatever it may be, if you're going traveling somewhere, uh, that'd be the best way for me, in my opinion, to carry. So, all right, let's do it again. Do a Mac change. And uh, here we go. Good. Ah. All right. Really can't bend over that much. All right, let's do a few more times. stays in pretty well it's not uncomfortable when you're standing up uh when i'm sitting down it the, the top section does dig a little bit i have to kind of pull out a little bit readjust and keep my gut behind the the holster so that's the only time i'm really uncomfortable or when i i can bend over but as far as i can go i have to kind of use my knees to bend down pick something up so all right here we go Again, very nicely. I mean, don't get me wrong, nothing against spend this carry. I like it. It's the fastest way to draw, in my opinion. Uh, be able to control your firearm in front of you as well. But for some people, it's not gonna work. Uh, if you have, you know, a lot of mass in the front, it's not gonna be a comfortable. So they carry strong side or just around three o'clock, whatever, which I usually typically carry. But one thing about that is, uh, some holsters can be a little bulky or not comfortable, especially Codex. 
uh, you know, it just bulge out or make your pants sags a little bit. And you have to keep it adjusting, which typically that's what I do most of the time. But uh, you know, that's it is what it is, but. there i must have hit the slide release all right let's try one more a few times then i got like two more rounds there we go comfortable while standing up i give you credit on that one but as far as sitting down again for long period of times uh it does mold to your body because it's got that uh kind of almost flexible material in between the holster where it connects in the middle uh and it kind of curves around it the claw is right there pushing on the belt so it keeps that grip in but again i got a little bit of gut so it pushes the top of the gun out a little bit. If I was to wear a tight shirt, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it pokes it out. But if I suck my gut in, then it's not as much noticeable. <laughs> but on that, as far as the holster goes, I'm easy, able to draw, get a good grip. Uh, again, I don't like to sit, sit my holster way low inside my pants. For that reason because i want to be able to get a good purchase on my firearm when i need it and as you can see i can get a whole hand on my grip and be able to grab my magazine it's not as deep in there and again this holster is not going anywhere and as again faster retention goes i don't need that much retention again it's in front of me i can control my firearm i'm going to be cutting flips i know i'll be struggling with nobody i'm going to go ahead and try to stay away from them push my weight out so I can draw my firearm and push out and fire when I need to. So again, it all depends on life situations, whatever may happen, it is what it is. But make sure to always, always train with whatever holster you get from, whatever way you carry, I always suggest, in my opinion, to train, be able to clear your garment and get a good purchase on your firearm and be able to uh, put shots or rounds and your target when you need to. Again, all guns to preference. So if you're a smaller guy, more slim fit, a pen is gonna work perfect for y'all. But bigger size guys, it may not work for y'all. Some may get away with it, depending what you wear. Again, depending on the season, jacket, sweater, stuff like that, it may work well for bigger guys. But as far as for me, it's about 50-50 in my opinion. And again, if I was traveling a lot, you can uh, carry in this position. It'll be more uh, functional, I guess, in my opinion, to be carrying it this way when you are in a vehicle sitting down for a long period of time. So, all right, guys, that's pretty much it. Very simple video. Again, thank you for Crossbreed for sending the Rogue Holster system here. Appendix carry, a lot of features, a lot of ways you can adjust it, a lot of options for clips, different colors, all that good stuff different firearm as well. Make sure to check the website to see what they have as far as firearms compatibility for this holster system. Uh, you can attach the magazine and everything. And again, it just uh, works just fine again. And you can use this all year round with the Utic Ultra Clips. Uh, clips if you want to go with this. Again, you just have to go pick the holster you want, the firearm, and it gives you a lot of options of many type of clips that you can choose from as far as wearing your holster or however you want to carry. Uh, that'd be the, your option, your preference that you want to choose. All right, guys, that's pretty much it again. Thank you for watching the video as usual. Make sure to subscribe, like, all that good stuff. You know where to find me at on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, uh, Snapchat. I'm pretty much everywhere. But make sure to follow me on Instagram, but that's where I'm active pretty much. And then also uh, see what comes out on the channel on future videos as usual. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.